my best at home friends and my sexy lemon pie cuties. Mark the Punk Gamer, aka Mark the Punk here. And this is a different video because it's still October, so I can review a horror movie. The horror movie I'll be reviewing for you guys is uh, Tales from Crypt Demon Knight. I'm finally doing this review for you guys until the end of October. And then I got another horror movie review after this one. You'll be excited what I'm reviewing next. But anyway, I'm reviewing Demon Knight. This movie is pretty awesome. This came out after the seven seasons of HBO's Tales from the Crypt series. So, spoilers, I'm a fan of that show, by the way. Um, the great anthology horror series on HBO ran for seven seasons and made three movies out of this, which is Demon Knight, Bordello of Blood, and then the third one, which is Ritual. If you guys want me to review the other two in the future, let me know in the let me know in the comments below. I got jokes for those. But this is the best one out of the three. <laughs> and uh, in this review, it's all going to be positives because I have no mixed or negative things about Tales from the Crypt Demon Knight. So uh, let's get this shit started, shall we, on the positives. So uh, let's start off with the storyline of good and evil. And uh, if the demons get the hands on the seventh key, which is the blood key in the movie, which is the coolest looking um, prop in the whole movie. Um, otherwise, they'll bring back the darkness and evil when they get their hands on the seventh key. So the character gives out um, details of what the seventh key um, history is and all that stuff in, in the halfway point of the movie. And uh, yeah. I like the storyline based around that. So the next um, positive, um, all the cast in this movie, the actors and actresses are really good in this movie. They picked the right cast for it, which is um, William Sadler as Breaker, best main character. He's awesome in this movie. And uh, Billy Zane, I gotta mention this character. He's the main villain of, for this movie. And he's uh, mixed with, um, scary and comedy at the same time with this character he's one of the best um main antagonists for, for your movie um similar to freddy krueger so there's a balance between this villain which i do enjoy from this character and uh there's a really funny moment with him that i really like <laughs> uh the scene here fucking hold dunk hold dunk well they in there motherfuckers so there you go, he's like the best main antagonist for your movie. <laughs> it's really funny. And uh, all right, the other characters. Um, CCH Ponder um, as Irene. She's actually the best character in this movie as well. Awesome character. And uh, Jada Pika as well. This is back way before back then, before she got smithed <laughs> years later. So uh, there you go. She's the best final girl in that movie. And yes, I like the perfect balance of horror and comedy mixed together. It reminds me so much of Nightmare on Elm Street 3, I believe, that has the perfect mix into it. And uh, this is the same exact movie that does that perfectly. It doesn't go off the rails like comedy and uh, all that stuff, which is good. All right, my next positive about this movie, I really like the demon designs of these movies. They're actually pretty good. They're not CGI at all. They're actually really practical demons. And it came out in the mid-90s, they could actually do that. That's really cool. So, I'm not scared of them at all, to be honest. Um, they're just fucking cool looking in that movie. So, the way they created the demons, it's really cool. That's the best. Um, and so is um, Irene's arm who gets ripped off by that one demon, possessed demon. And uh, pulls it right off. That's a really cool scene. When the demon's trying to get the seventh key <laughs> possessed the demon so that's really cool another prosthetic awesomeness and based off that funny scene um billy singer is just you want your arm back irene i can make it happen and then she lifts up their stub arm <laughs> and giving him the finger type thing it's really funny this is me giving you the finger asshole <laughs> that's so funny i enjoyed that scene uh, and speaking of prosthetics and everything surrounding this, 
there is my most favorite kill in this movie, the opening kill, when the collector Billy Zane punches the uh, deputy's head through his head, which is awesome. I fucking love that opening kill. It's really good. All right, to cap it all off um, with my last two positives about this movie, um, I really like the cinematography in this movie. It gives that dark, creepy atmosphere of the whole hotel once the lights go out. It has a creepy horror atmosphere as it is. Really good cinematography. I really like the whole atmosphere around it. It's a really good atmosphere for this movie. And my final positive, I have to give it to the um, Tales, from Crypt, Tales from the Crypt Demon Knight soundtrack. The soundtrack kicks ass in this movie. I never heard of the band called Grave Diggers, to be honest. Um, I heard a little bit of the filter song that's in the beginning of that movie. Um, yeah, when they're in a car chase. And uh, my favorite Megadeth song is on here. It's uh, The song is called Diadums. Um, great ending song to end the movie, in my opinion. I fucking love Megadeth, guys. You know me. Since I did a re-ranking about uh, months ago. So, I really love the ending song, Diadums, at the end of that movie. Really awesome. It's pretty underrated for some reason. I highly regard it to my favorite song from Megadeth, from their Hidden Treasures. And, uh... Um, overall, I think it's a really good soundtrack from this movie overall so uh and that's the last bit of my positives about this movie so i have no mixed or negative things about this movie nothing i need change or anything so it's a really good um movie although this movie was in january back in 95 mid 90s um they could have released it on october i'm being a little bit picky but it's still a good movie nonetheless out of the three of the tales from the crypt movies and uh I would highly recommend this, so if you can find it on any of the movie subscribers you guys have, anything, um, you can watch it for yourself. I really do enjoy this movie. This is one of my top favorite horror movies of all time. Like, one of the, my favorite 90s horror movies. And uh, if you guys want me to do the other two Tales from the Crypt movies in the future, let me know in the comments. So I have jokes for those overall. but. Anyway, this is the best Tales from the Crypt movie out of the three. So I might give an obvious rating at the end of this review, and I'm gonna go ahead and end this um, new review right here, and I'll go on to the next review on my next video for you guys. You'll be surprised which one it is. Anyway, subscribe to me if you haven't, click the bell to get notified of my next video, and comment and like about the horror movie review of Tales from the Crypt Demon Knight. And I will see you on my next review I'm going to show you guys. So I hope you're excited. Seizure. Later.